Hello Scorpio, uh, Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Welcome to everybody. Um, I hope you're all well wherever you are. But this is your reading for the 18th through to the 24th of April 2022. Or thereabouts, it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, just to say, as always, it is a general reading Scorpio, so it won't resonate with everybody, but it certainly will with some. So let's see, shall we? We'll start off with the cycle of the moon oracle cards to get some overall energies for you just to get your reading started so what do we have for Scorpio please 18th 24th of April 2022 or thereabouts what do we have for Scorpio please Right, Scorpio. Well, first of all, we have number twenty-six, and this this talks about surrender. Um, I feel this is just surrendering to the processes, the due processes that are happening now for you, within you, around you. This is surrendering to what's something that's bigger than yourself. It could well be surrendering to what the universe, the plans that the universe has for you now. But let's see. We'll just put that to one side. So it's a time of surrender, perhaps a time of acceptance. And then we have number 15, which is this talks about action, taking action, being active. Um, we have the full moon on display here. Uh, so a time of action. Let's see. Let's see where this all fits together for you. Surrender and action. We'll come back to those two messages in a little moment. But first of all, we'll get into the psychic tarot now. So what do we have for Scorpio, please? What's important for Scorpio to consider at this time? do we have for the lovely Scorpio? All right, I've, this one, this card's just jumped out, so I'll have a quick look at it. It's number three, three of hearts, um, three of cups. Rejoicing celebration. So there's a, a cause for celebration around for some of you at this time. Um, and it's time to rejoice. So I'll just pop it back in. Let's see. So at the heart of your reading, Scorpio, what's the root of the matter? The past influences, what's on your mind at the moment? The future going forward. And then something else that your guides would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have light. And this would be the sun card in Ordinary Tower. It's a major arcana. Um, so light is going to be shed on a situation. Something's going to be revealed or and illuminated for you, Scorpio. Okay. And then using the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Could we clarify all of the cards on the table, please, for Scorpio? Clarify all of the cards on the table for Scorpio, please. Right, at the bottom of the deck we have the Princess of Pentacles um, and I call this my Accountant card 
Um, the Princess of Pentacles is very busy um, writing in her ledger, um, counting the money that's coming in, managing the money that goes out. She has the abacus there and next to her. But it's a lot of wealth, abundance and affluence here in this card with the grapes, a uh, bag of money down here. Um, so, you know, this is um, a, a comfortable living. Um, but is what's important here is managing what comes in and what goes out and that's the important message here and then you can keep money flowing one way and the other which leaves leads towards a secure and bountiful future okay <clears throat> All right, let's see what's at the heart of your reading. OK, we've got fertility, number three, which would be the um, Empress in Ordinary Tarot. It's a major arcana, but the focus here is on fertility. Um, oh, that's interesting. And the number seven, the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I'm, I'm very drawn to the depiction of the Seven of Pentacles here. We have a very heavily pregnant woman. Um, not quite time to give birth. I feel for somebody or for some of you this is this is about fertility, pregnancy, um, something growing. Very beautiful energy here. Very mothering, very mothering energy. All right, let's see where this is going. Excuse me. I have a little bit of um, hay fever going on at the moment, um, Scorpio, so I do beg your pardon. I just have to clear my lungs every now and again. <laughs> Not that you want to know that. Uh, okay, so let's have a look what's at the root of this situation. Okay, we've got num the, the number six. This is talking about memories of love. Would be the six of cups. Um, and we have the wheel. Now, at the root of this situation is this is thinking about the past, um, a love, a relationship from the past, I feel. Um, lots of memories here, one in particular uh, that's being scooped up. So one relationship perhaps in particular that you've been thinking about. Um, and what happened with this relationship was it came to a standstill over a period of time. Things, it was rolling along through the seasons, but then it came to a standstill and there was no more movement with it. So I feel there was a relationship that came to an end here for somebody or for some of you, Scorpio, that you've been thinking about. Now the past influences, we have another major arcana here and this is the star energy, This, is, but it focuses on hope. So you were holding out for hope in the past, wishing on a star, being very hopeful about something that had come to an end, um, and then and a cycle came to an end and I feel it's this relationship that came to an end. But you were hopeful. You, you remained hopeful, even though something had come to its natural end had completed. Had completed. All right. Um, just looking at the cards on the table at the moment, Scorpio, whoever this is for, and it won't be for everybody, but it would appear that there's a relationship that that came to an end, although you remained hopeful with it. And I feel it's due to um, a 
due to a pregnancy here. For others of you, if, if, if it's not a pregnancy, then it's something that I feel you are hoping is still productive, that there's still something within the relationship that is worth holding on to, that is still growing and maturing. So what's on your mind at the moment? Well, we have the uh, Love Begins, which is the Ace of Cups um, and the Two of Swords. So what you're thinking about is a new love or a deepening of a current love. And But you, you're also thinking about cross swords. So to do with this new love, new love opportunity, that there are cross swords here. This is a bit of a power struggle. Um, decisions need to be made. But you can't come to a can't come to a decision. So there's, it looks like there's cross swords here between yourself, and it cross swords to do with a prize. Two people here wanting the same thing. So there's a bit of a battle going on, conflict to do with a new love or a deepening of a love. And this is what you're thinking about, Scorpio. I feel the conflict may be something to do with managing money, managing a money a financial situation. And you're becoming more aware light is being shed on this situation. Going forward, we have the eight number 8 which is the 8 of swords trapped in fear and the tower Right, um, trapped in fear. This is men mental imprisonment. Um, feeling trapped, feeling stuck, but it's, it's everything, what's happening in your mind. Your mind is playing a scenario out over and over again, and it's keeping you stuck. You can't see a way out of this situation. And it's to do with um, the tower, um, a sudden revelation, shocking news that you weren't expecting. And it's news that you, I feel you didn't want to hear. But of course, when the universe sends a bolt of lightning down to bring the tower down, it does so because it needs to come down. It's it was built on faulty foundations in the first place, so it's it's not the right tower for you, Scorpio. And it needed to be cleared. But nevertheless, it's still um, not what you wanted to hear. And it and you you're not quite sure what to do with this revelation. So what would your guides like to say to you now, Scorpio? Well, we have another major arcana. This is number 14. And this is about having patience, being patient. And the Three of Swords as a clarifier. So what your guides want to say, you've got to be patient now and while things are growing. You, you can't rush this process. You have to give it time and you have to be patient, waiting for this to grow, waiting for your heart to heal, because we have the Three of Swords here, and this talks about a long-term heartache and heartbreak. Um, that I feel has been around for quite some time. Um, but there's no more growth, whatever this to do is to do with, 
something's come to an end and, and it needed to end. Something that was causing you a lot of pain and heartache needed to come to an end because there's no growth. So it's rising up from your emotions, Scorpio, and thinking things through intellectually with your mind, not allowing your heart to dictate the decisions you make going forward. And your heart needs time to heal. And it's just being patient now. Just being patient whilst something grows and matures so you can achieve that lovely sense of balance and harmony within yourself which is so important for you. Alright, so I feel going back to surrender, I think this is surrendering to the process now. Surrendering to what's bigger than yourself, you know, where you are now, the position you're in now. Um, give any worries and concerns to the higher powers, to the universe. Because the time will come when you'll be taking action. And once you've took action and made a decision, then you're going to have lots, lots of reasons to celebrate and to, and to dance for joy. I feel there's a specific message here for somebody. I feel there's definitely something to do with fertility and pregnancy here. Because something you're having to be patient and wait, wait for something to grow. Um, I feel there was a relationship um, that came to a standstill. Although you've, you've remained hopeful. But I feel light's now being shed on a situation that's to do with finances. And so there's some cross swords here. And then going forward, you know, there's the revelation, the, 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 the clarity of information that's going to be quite shocking. It's not what you want to hear, Scorpio. And it's going to be going round and round in your mind and you're going to feel stuck and trapped. Um, but what your guides are wanting to say, you know... There is no more growth in whatever it is that's caused you this heartache and heart pain. It's time to let it go. Um, and then just settle down and be patient and, and wait for something to grow. And it could well be to do with whatever the fertility and the Seven of Pentacles is, is, is saying here. Could we have two final messages for Scorpio, please? Two final messages for Scorpio. Right, a card's jumped out now and it's watching clouds, so lie back, rest and relax. Um, there's nothing more you can do, you've just got to wait now, be patient, waiting for something to grow. Um, so lie back, relax when you can, have a cup of tea, read a book, watch the clouds go by. A time to rest and relax. So I'll just put that to one side. What else do we have? If 
fantastic two fantastic energies here we've got miracles so expect the wonders to emerge there's a miracle on the way for you scorpio fantastic and wondrous universe walk in beauty this is being universally connected the universe has your back here and is guiding you every step of the way and you've got lots to look forward to here scorpio and it's saying walk in beauty walk in the beauty of the universe of nature you know this is sort of something fantastic and fun fabulous is is around you and is coming in for you expect miracles but lie back, rest and relax. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading. Uh, whoever it's for, and it won't be for everybody, but whoever it's for, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. And um, until next time, Scorpio, bye-bye for now.